evident structural drought affecting the Segura River Basin, as a result of water resources too low to meet demand, made it necessary to create a desalination plant in the municipality of Torrevieja, in the province of Alicante, to guarantee irrigation for 8,000 hectares of arable land, as well as the provision of water to 400,000 people. The works were awarded by the state company Aquamed to the joint venture formed by the companies Acciona Infraestructuras and Acciona Agua, both world-renowned companies, leaders in the development and management of infrastructures, water, and services, and pioneers in sustainable development. The desalination plant of Torrevieja is a basic structure that guarantees quality water resources and completes the water requirements of the Segura Basin, an area of intense agricultural and tourist activity. It is a pioneer installation in the development of innovative, energy-efficient structures, designed with a view to achieving economic, environmental, and social sustainability. The project was designed to produce 80 cubic hectometers per year of product water, which meets the required needs and may be increased to a maximum of 120 cubic hectometers per year in the future. The works carried out during the project involved two operations, the collection of seawater and the discharge of brine. The purpose of the water intake structure located on the external side of the western dock in the port of Torrevieja, is to supply the desalination plant with the necessary flow to operate correctly. It is calculated that for every cubic meter of seawater, the plant can produce 0.45 cubic meters of product water suitable for human consumption and irrigation. The water inlet structure has a maximum production capacity of 533,000 cubic meters per day. And in the future, the reject brine structure will be able to evacuate up to 293,000 cubic meters per day. Currently, the installations comprise two lines of four mixing chambers each, with one agitator per chamber and two lines of four flocculation chambers. Each flocculation chamber has eight inner shell baffles that guarantee a perfect mix of the water and the reagents by means of hydraulic agitation. On exiting the mixing and flocculation chambers, the water goes through the distribution channel to a battery of 32 filters, each with a surface area of 6 times 19 square meters. Each unit has a total height of 5.68 meters and is made up of the following parts. Severn Trent underdrain, 0.35 meters, filter bed 1.10 meters high, comprised of a layer of sand and anthracite with a unit thickness of 0.55 meters. Water pre-filtering area with a maximum height of 3.74 meters on the bed of sand and anthracite. Guard at crest level of 0.60 meters. The filtration flotation units are completed by two pressurized water pipe networks. The first network is used for recirculated water, 10%, the second network, located on the side of the filter's surface, is used to eliminate the floating sludge. Once the water exits the floating filters, it enters the filtered water tank with a capacity of 3,200 cubic meters to be pumped to the second stage filters. The filters adopted in the second stage are mixed bed, sand and anthracite, pressure filters with a diameter of 3,600 millimeters, a cylindrical length of 12.5 meters, and a total length of 14,320 meters, with a unit surface area of 47 square meters. The reagents dosing is centralized in three buildings, one for the pretreatment, another for the osmosis, and the third for the remineralization. The large storage tanks are located outside, whereas all of the dosing equipment is located inside. The desalinated water from each frame is collected by an outlet manifold.
Reverse osmosis is a physical chemical process by which waters with different salt concentrations are separated by a semi-permeable membrane. By increasing the pressure on the side with the higher salt concentration, the water passes through to the lower concentration side. After passing through the membranes, the water becomes very pure and must be remineralized and chlorinated. This provides it with the necessary quality requirements for consumption. After its remineralization, the treated water is stored in the main treated water tank with a total capacity of 15,000 cubic meters to which the pump units for the treated water are connected. The western dock has been extended on its outer side, increasing its width by 9.4 meters and adding a further 4 meters of edge slab in order to minimize environmental impact. A 9.4 meter wide concrete slab has been placed on the top at plus 4.90 meters above sea level, allowing for the design of a promenade in the future. The seawater pressure-fed pipe is 760 meters long and runs from the sea land division line to the inside of the pumping building. The caisson, made of reinforced concrete, is 50.7 meters long, 10.6 meters wide, and 13.47 meters high at brace level. It was built on the dry dock at Navantia, in the port of Cartagena, and was subsequently towed by sea to the port of Torrevieja to be anchored at the port of Alicante. The pumping of filtered seawater is done by means of five pumping units, each with a capacity of 4,500 cubic meters per hour and three units with a capacity of 2,500 cubic meters per hour, pumping the water at 18 meters of water column. The suction pipes are located inside the water inlet caisson. A prior study of the seabed was carried out to determine the best location for installing the desalination plant's discharge outlet. The outlet is divided into two parts. The first part runs between Desiderio Rodriguez Avenue and the inlet caisson of the discharge outlet and consists of a 2,000 mm diameter fiberglass tube that runs parallel to the inlet and along the western dock extension. The outlet discharges into the water inlet caisson adjacent to the pumping building. The second part of the outlet is underwater and starts in the right-hand cell of the inlet caisson. The automatism and control system has three control levels. The first level, which comprises the basic security and manual operation automatisms. The second level of integrated general automatism comprises automatic control by means of programmable automatons. The third level is the system for supervision, statistical treatment, and automatic supervision of the processes. The desalination plant is provided with an uninterrupted power supply. With this infrastructure, ACCIONA achieves optimal irrigation of the Tegus Segura water transfer system and optimal water provision to locals, causing no impact on the marine ecosystem and offering the option of increasing production in the future if necessary. This way, it makes use of the planet's natural resources, in line with its philosophy of constantly searching for sustainable development and actively contributing to social well-being.